The Florida Georgia football game is a time for concern. They tell us that sex trafficking goes up when big events like this come to town. Action News Jack's Jamarlo Phillips is live at TIAA Bank Field. And Jamarlo, this group is hitting the streets to bring awareness. Antonika, the president of that organization, told me when people flood into town like this, prostitutes are often forced into the area, causing a lot of concern for police. Not only that, but for people who are trying to prevent human trafficking from happening in the first place. Save our adolescents from prostitution is on a mission. We have campus 65 hotels in the city. A mission that becomes even more critical when big events like Florida, Georgia come to town. Sylvia Altman is the president of the group. We bring over 200, 400 soaps per hotel so they can help us to put it in the bathrooms in the lobby. They On this bar of soap, victims are given a number to call for help. Altman says staff at local hotels are trained to identify signs of sex trafficking and where to report it. Unfortunately, in this element in the dark world, that's when the demand increased doubly. She says human trafficking victims are mostly young women. She related the story to 31-year-old Richard Moffitt. Court records show Moffitt was a pimp and heroin dealer who moved to Jacksonville and began living in different hotels earlier this summer. Moffitt pleaded guilty to three counts of forcible sex trafficking. Altman says she believes much more needs to be done to keep violent crimes like this from happening here. To expose the buyer, help us to kind of bring an awareness that this is the type of man who is buying these girls. And the, and the president says she and other members of the group plan to be here at the game this weekend to hand out more soaps. Reporting live here outside of TIAA Bankfield, I'm Jamarlo Phillips, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Channel.